Chapter 71, Keeping a Low Profile Even If One's Strength Can Carry a Boar Time flies, and with the blink of an eye, it was already the middle of June. The summer night, with the golden arc of the moon hanging high in the sky, shining its radiance on the green mountain lands. The winds blew and the leaves danced with the moonlight. The song of the cicadas and bullfrogs were simultaneous with each other. At times the sound of a wolf howling could be heard from afar, echoing throughout the green mountain. On a river bank, a creek was scrubbing over a piece of smooth cliff rock. Beside this bank, a battle was ongoing. A mountain boar covered in fine and deep wounds all over kicked its legs and rushed forward once more towards Fong Yuan. The blood was pouring from its wounds, marking a road of fresh red liquid. Fong Yuan wrestled with it, showing no signs of panic. The wild boar was on the verge of death, but it was precisely these moments that wild beasts are the most dangerous. Using the last remaining potential of their lives, their insanity and tenacity could cause one to get gravely injured at any careless moment. Fong Yuan was peaceful, his black iris glowing eerily under the moonlight, showing the light of absolute calmness. He had the experience of five hundred years, a part of him was engrossed in combat, while another disengaged from the battle, and remained alert towards the surroundings. Many times when he was hunting wild boars, other animals came to wreak havoc. At times, a wild boar, another time wild wolves, and even once a wandering tiger. As time passed, the wild boar's attacks gradually slowed down. Fong Yuan's eyes shone brightly as he took a few strides forward, getting close to the wild boar. Raising strength in his shoulder and arms, he carried and raised the wild boar in one breath. Huff! Fong Yuan growled as his face was puffed red his arms stretching out and raising the wild boar high above his head. The wild boar feebly struggled. Fong Yuan's body was unstable, he used all his strength to throw the wild boar. With a boom, the wild boar was thrown onto a large rock by the river bank. It cried pitifully as sounds of its bones breaking could be heard. It fell down from the large rock, blood oozing out from its ears, nose and mouth. It struggled a few times before drawing its final breath. The surroundings regained its peace. The river water flowed endlessly, carrying the boar's blood along the river to some faraway place. My strength right now can compete with a boar. Tonight I'll go try that giant rock at the passageway. Fong Yuan stood on the spot, breathing in heavily with a hint of excitement flashing across his eyes. These days he had used the white boar goo non-stop to increase the strength of his body. He could feel strongly now that his strength was getting bigger. Back then when he fought wild boars, he could only use a kiting technique with the moon blade, but now he could even carry the wild boar, so the increment of his strength had shown great progress. Of course, the white boar goo would not endless give him strength. The limit was a boar's strength, and once he reached the limit, it would no longer grant him any additional strength. I can carry a wild boar now, but that does not mean I can go head to head with a boar, like how a strong man can carry another strong man, but it does not mean they have equal strength. My strength can continue to grow. Feeding all the pork to the white boar goo, Fang Yuan used his hunting knife to retrieve the boar's teeth, and finally diced up the already heavily torn boar skin, before going into the secret cave in the rock crack. As for the boar's corpse, it did not need him to do anything. During the summer night, wild beasts roamed freely, and not long after, there should be wild beasts picking up the scent of the blood and rush here to clean the scene for Fong Yuan. Or rather, even if someone found out, it was inconsequential. The wild boar's injuries were all edited by Fong Yuan, looking nothing like moonblade cuts. Back to the secret cave enveloped in red light, Fang Yuan threw the two wild boar teeth at a corner. The wild boar's teeth collided, causing a crisp sound. At this corner, there was already a pile of wild boar teeth. 
They were the results of Fang Yuan's hunting. Fang Yuan squirmed into the passageway, once again getting to the end of the tunnel. Walking on the tunnel, his footsteps could be heard echoing in the cave, his vision dyed red due to the light. Everything was unchanged, the giant rock was still there, quietly blocking his path. As for the hole created after digging out the earth treasury flower, it had already been filled up by Fang Yuan. Ha! Fang Yuan walked in front of the giant rock, raised both hands and pushed. Although his face grew red with exertion, and he used all his strength, the giant rock did not move an inch. With my current strength, I can only carry a wild boar. But this giant rock, it is at least the weight of five to six boars. No wonder I cannot move it. The flower wine monk's strength inheritance is not that easily obtained. Fang Yuan's gaze shone as he estimated in his heart. He did not give up, but instead came out of the tunnel and returned to the secret room upstairs. Taking a bamboo tube from the corner of the wall, Fang Yuan sat on the ground and opened the lid, taking out the beast skin map and sheets of bamboo paper. He opened the beast skin map and started to memorize it, using his fingers to draw on the traces on the map to aid in his memorization. Ever since he had obtained the map, he had been doing this every day. Fang Yuan did not have a storage type Gu, he could not bring the beast skin map with him everywhere. Carrying a bamboo tube on him while battling is inconvenient too. Thus, Fang Yuan put in some effort and was prepared to stuff the entire beast skin map's content into his head. Some things, even if troublesome, had to be done. In a person's life, those who did not actively resolve problems due to fearing trouble, would always face a dangerous predicament at the end. Fang Yuan understood this logic from his previous life. When one is young, their memory sure is good. I have already memorized more than half of this map. If I was old, I would probably forget the content while memorizing this. He he he, of course if I had a bookworm, I would feed this map to it, and from then on, as long as I do not lose the bookworm, I will be able to recall this map clearly forever. Fang Yuan had the liquor worm, white boar goo, and was now beginning to have insatiable greed, starting to crave the bookworm. The value of the bookworm was quite close to the liquor worm and white boar goo, all being rare species among the rank 1 goo worms. The market price was expensive and they were often sold out in moments. In his previous life, Fang Yuan did not obtain the liquor worm or white boar goo, but he accidentally obtained a bookworm. This bookworm eventually advanced ranks with him, and accompanied him for a whole sixty years. Forget it, bookworms are rare and low in numbers, I won't be able to get one anytime soon. To speak the truth, my current stage is way better than my previous life at this point. Last time at this period, I was still a rank one initial stage, while the others like Fang Zheng, Qi Cheng, Mo Bei were already upper stage, far beyond me. Fang Yuan was not someone who worried over nothing, quickly getting over it. He was rather satisfied with his current progress. He was a middle stage, and the others were also middle stage. With his C grade talent, he could maintain the same speed as these A and B grades, it was not easy. Much effort was given to the liquor worm, as well as Fang Yuan's rich cultivating experience. The other aspect was also due to Fang Yuan. His act of extortion had caused the classmates to bulk up on training their physical fighting skills under the help of their elders. Unknowingly, it caused them to be distracted, reducing the time they spent on nurturing their apertures. This resulted in everyone's cultivation level being even lower than Fang Yuan's past life. But even so, they were not so far from upper stage now. Gu Master's early stage of cultivation was rather easy, seeing effect in a short period of time. Especially Gu Yu Fang Zheng, Mo Chen and Qi Cheng, their cultivation level had already creeped and even seemed to surpass Fang Yuan. With constant cultivation, these three with their talent, or the support behind them, 
had already begun to show their advantage. The lead that Fang Yuan had due to the liquor worm was starting to disappear. Of course, there was also the reason of him hunting recently and using the white boar goo to raise his strength, or spending much of his time and effort in doing so. At this rate, before long, someone will advance to upper stage. The first person that achieves upper stage will get a reward of 30 primeval stones. But this reward, I do not intend to contest for it. Fang Yuan had decided long ago. If he abandoned the white boar gu now and rushed for upper stage, he might have some hopes of winning. But that was not Fang Yuan's goal. Thirty primeval stones might be good but he did not lack primeval stones at the moment. The bigger reason was that he needed to remain concealed and keep a low profile to reduce other people's attention towards him, so that he can inherit the flower wine monk strength inheritance successfully. This is his real motive. The academy has all sorts of rewards, but it is just carrots to pique the student's interest, and most importantly, it is a part of the family system. Fighting for these little rewards, is not what a wise person would do. Fang Yuan collected his spirits and gazed at the beast skin map again. The beast skin map had two pages, one recorded the day while the other recorded the night. Many lines of different colors intertwined on it. These lines, some were straight, some were curved, but they all had their own specific meaning. Only old man Wang would be clear of their meaning, but it is a pity he died. But even if he was alive, by forcing him to speak, he might not say the truth. These days, Fang Yuan relied on his knowledge and experience, and according to the bamboo paper's comparison, he had already deciphered it all. The Red Cross represents danger, a forbidden zone. The area with the Red Cross seems to be surrounded by wild boars, it is probably a wild boar king there. With my current strength, I'm as good as dead if I encounter one. Humph. Thinking of old man Wan, Fan Yuan could not help but snort again. This area marked with a cross was not marked on the bamboo paper. If Fang Yuan really believed the bamboo paper, he would probably die by the fangs of the wild boar king one day. This old man Wang was indeed experienced. To avenge his son, he did not have to act himself, but borrowed the wild boar king's strength. This way, even if Fang Yuan dies, he would be able to avoid responsibility. But these three spots marked with a red circle, what do they mean? Fang Yuan was perturbed. This was the beast skin map's final suspicious point. Three red circles, showing three very isolated areas. They were also very far apart, and had little surrounding beasts, considered safer areas in the wild. The red cross represents forbidden area, but what does the red circle represent? Fang Yuan fell into deep thoughts, normally, red is the most alert color. Old man Wang marked these three areas, meaning they are important. It is a pity these areas are far, if not I would inspect them myself and find the reason. Chapter 72 Any organization would also require loyalty. The hot summer sun blazes on, the mountain winds blowing the warm winds around, Qing Mao Mountain steaming under the hot air. In the blink of an eye, it was already near the end of June. Gu Yu Fang Zheng. In the academy, the family elder called out. Gu Yu Fang Zheng got up from his seat and came before the academy elder. Under the admiring gaze of his classmates, Fang Zheng received a heavy bag of primeval stones. Fang Zheng, you are the first to advance to upper stage, this is your reward. Good job, continue working hard. Academy elder smiled pleasantly, patting Fang Zheng's shoulders. Fang Zheng acknowledged with a grunt, his face full of excitement. He took the money bag over with emotion and returned to his seat. I finally did it. The first to advance to upper stage, do you see that big brother, I finally beat you for once. His eyes shone with bright light as he swept his gaze over at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was sprawled on the table, sound asleep. Last night he had killed another wild boar, 
and after returning to the hostel, he used the white boar goo to improve his body and also used the natural essence within the primeval stones to refine his primeval essence using the liquor worm. Finally, he used his upper stage primeval essence to nurture his aperture, all the way until morning. He hurriedly ate breakfast before rushing to class, falling asleep as soon as he settled in. He was too exhausted, and Goo Master Cultivation could not replace sleep. Humph, even if you don't admit it, this is the truth. Big brother, I have finally surpassed you. This is the first, and there will be a second time, a third time. Fang Zheng clenched his fists. This success was extremely meaningful to him. He had already broken through the dark clouds in his heart, creating an opening to allow light to penetrate in. Even though this light was thin, it gave Fang Zheng hope and encouragement. Humph, I actually lost to that Fang Zheng. Gu Yuemo Bei sat on his seat, arms crossed, feeling indignant. This is the advantage of an A grade, damn it. Gu Yu Qi Cheng said with a dark expression. As he cultivated, he felt strongly the advantages of a good talent. Even with his grandfather Gu Yu Qi Lian's support, plus his extremely hard work, he was still left behind by Fang Zheng. If only I had a liquor worm, plus grandfather's help, I might not lose to Fang Zheng. Those accursed Fang family brothers. Little brother is a grade, suppressing us, but the brother being a C grade has a liquor worm. Why did all the good things in this world go to these brothers? Gu Yu Qi Cheng felt really indignant. This time Fang Zheng broke through to upper stage first. Of course, he is a great talent. Yeah, even Mo Bei, Qi Cheng, and Fang Yuan lost to Fang Zheng. Fang Zheng has gained all the attention this time. Fang Yuan having the liquor worm is not putting in effort. Wasting his time every day, even sleeping in class, he might as well give his liquor worm to me. The surrounding students discussed, feeling indignant in their hearts, helplessness and envy. The academy elder called them one by one, and students went up continuously to collect their primeval stones allowance, and return to their seats. Everyone quietened down. After the allowance was given out, the academy elder used his hand to hit the table. All of a sudden, the academy became silent. Now, you've all mastered your second goo worm and even so much as broke through into the upper stage. In the past half a year, you have all worked hard, and now you have some basics, it is time for you to train in the wilds. True battles are not scarecrows or puppets, wooden puppets that stand there and await your attacks. The following mid-year examination will be held three days later, all students have to attend. The examination content is to hunt wild boars. By collecting wild boar teeth as results to record, those who collect the most wild boar teeth will get better scores. At the end of the examination, each wild boar teeth can be exchanged for ten primeval stones. Furthermore, you are allowed to hunt in groups. The academy elder's words caused a commotion among the students. The mid-year exam is finally here. Every year's students study at the academy for a year, and there is always a mid-year exam and an end-of-year exam. Looking at the time, it really is time for the mid-year exam. Every year's examination content is different, to think that this year, our examination is to hunt and acquire wild boar teeth. What should we do? My talent is only D grade, my vital goo isn't an attack type like the moonlight goo, how can I hunt wild boars? Didn't you hear, the family elder said, we are allowed to hunt in groups. For those with talent that can't make it, or those with goo worms that aren't suitable, we can help each other and cooperate. When we get boar teeth, we just need to share with one another, and that would work. Each wild boar teeth can be exchanged for ten primeval stones, this is the academy encouraging us to hunt more wild boars, and the prize is set for that. For true market value, one primeval stone can buy twenty wild boar teeth. The students had varying expressions, some were happy while other fretted, some were eager to go, 
while others called on companions, even Fang Yuan was slightly moved. It changed. I remember that last year's examination was to collect wildlife honey. To think that it changed to wild boar teeth. Is this the butterfly effect? A butterfly flapping its wings can cause a giant storm on the coast of another ocean. A small change in the initial conditions lead to drastic changes in the results. Ever since his rebirth, Fang Yuan had made many changes, the conditions of his current self was vastly different from his previous life. Back then he had already been left behind by Fang Zheng and the others, but now he was adamantly at the top of the student board. In his past life he did not kill Jia Jinsheng, in fact they did not even meet. But this life, he did not only kill Jia Jinsheng, he even excavated the deeper treasures of the flower wine monk's inheritance. These changes are like a butterfly flapping its wings, indirectly causing changes to the environment. The mid-year examination change is only the first of such symptoms. If I continue changing things, will it cause history to become completely unrecognizable as well? In that case, the advantage from my rebirth would be significantly reduced. Fang Yuan looked calm, but was sighing internally. The feeling of inability and pressing urgency roamed his heart, but he quickly adjusted his mood. No matter what, since it has already happened, I can't stop it. What I need to do now is to actively change myself. Even if the events are completely different at the end, I would not slow down my growth just because of such concerns. In my past life I knew nothing about the future, does that mean that in my current life I lack courage? Hee <laughs> hee, even if the world is full of thorns, I will cut through all the thorns in my way and pave out a blood-filled path myself. Every teeth for ten primeval stones, this price is very high. Should I sell all those wild boar fangs I have stocked up at the cave? But if I do, I might attract suspicion. No, according to the Guyu clan's political situation, if I sell these wild boar teeth publicly, I might get screwed over. Fang Yuan shook his head, the risks were too big. If he really sold these teeth, what could he get in return? A little over 100 primeval stones. Wait, primeval stones aren't important. Maybe I can use this change to construct my image again. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan's eyes shone brightly. He needed to get rich secretly now, being as low profile as possible. If the flower wine monk's inheritance was exposed, he might even lose his life. But his current position was awkward. He stood against all his classmates, being outside the system, and among the higher-ups, he was an untamable, unhappy, and indignant, intelligent and cold, C-grade talent teenager. This image was not good, it literally portrayed him as unloyal. But a clan requires loyalty, in fact, any organization requires loyalty. No matter which world, loyalty is the value that is most sought after in clans. Loyalty to the clan, loyalty to the country, loyalty to his leader, loyalty to his loved one, loyalty to his friends etc. As Fang Yuan's cultivation level got higher, the higher-ups would only get more concerned, and if needed, the family may even use hard-handed methods on him. At that point, Fang Yuan would be really thrown into passivity. Fang Yuan did not like passiveness, he liked to have the control of all matters tightly in his grip. Because of a series of events before, Fang Yuan could only operate on the go, relying on outside strength, and this image he constructed was only to protect himself in times of need. But now that he could protect himself, Fang Yuan needed to be stronger. Thus, he needed to change this image, letting the higher-ups think that he had given up and joined the clan system. But this conversation cannot be too abrupt, or it would be suspicious. More importantly, joining this system is only a facade, Fang Yuan would not really join them truly, and be manipulated and restricted. He had too many secrets. He needed large amounts of freedom, and in actuality he was still a loner in operation. But now the mid-year exam was a chance. 
It seems I have to do some plotting, I'll start from the extortion then. Fong Yuan's gaze became certain as everything fell into his scheme. Chapter 73 The Mysterious Red Circle Marking You said that during Fong Yuan's extortion this time, although he defeated Fong Zheng, Qi Cheng, and Mo Bei, he left go of them and did not take their primeval stones. Hearing the guard's report, the academy elder revealed a slightly shocked expression. I dare not lie to Lord, it is indeed like this. The guard kneeling on the ground immediately responded. Mm. The academy elder did not express his opinion, and waved his hand, I have understood this matter, you may go. Your subordinate takes his leave. Once the guard had left, the academy elder immediately fell into deep thoughts. He was originally concerned with this matter as he was afraid Fang Yuan would snatch away the thirty primeval stones that Fang Zheng had gotten as a reward. If that was the case, the academy's reward system would have no meaning, they might as well give everything to Fang Yuan. If Fang Yuan really did that, the academy would not allow it, and the academy elder was already prepared to punish Fang Yuan. But he did not expect that not only did Fang Yuan have no intention to take the thirty primeval stones from Fang Zheng, he even let go of Mo Bei and Qi Cheng as well. Fang Yuan has hundreds of primeval stones on hand, he might not be too concerned with the thirty primeval stones, that is understandable. But giving up on extorting Mo Bei, Qi Cheng and Fang Zheng, what is the reason? The academy elder contemplated, his eyebrows gradually easing. He had understood something. M. O. Bei, Qi Cheng, and Fang Zheng, they could be said to represent the three factions of the clan. Letting go of them, the meaning was that he was appealing to the three different factions. This was understandable, as Fang Yuan's attitude change meant that he was finally willing to lower his head to the clan. Understandable. As he cultivated, Fang Yuan may have the liquor worm, but the situation has gotten clearer to him. The inability of AC grade talent, after a few outbursts, and letting go of the majority of his negative feelings, he is probably rather downhearted and depressed now. It seems the clan leader's words make sense, Fang Yuan is after all a fifteen-year-old, how can he go against the clan system? Now that he has started to accept reality, once he finds the position that he belongs to, he would fuse into the clan naturally. Thinking of this, the academy elder breathed out a sigh of relief, his feelings becoming more cheerful. Three days passed in a flash. Soon, the mid-year exam was here. Faster, faster, I've lured the wild boar out. A youngster ran as he shouted out frantically. On both his legs, there was a light green ring of swirling wind. With these two rings, it led to him having above average speed at such a young age. However, the wild boar chasing after him became faster and faster, and the distance between them was shortening. The scorching sun penetrated the forest and reflected on the wild boar, causing both its teeth to shine brightly. The wild boar is coming, hold the rope tightly. The four ambushing youngsters quickly hid in the bushes and pulled the ropes tightly, instantly forming a tripping rope. The speeding youngster leapt lightly, jumping over the road and continued running. But the boar behind him tripped over the rope and fell harshly on the ground, crashing five to six meters before stopping. Ow! The four youngsters were pulled along by the rope, and fell to the ground along with the wild boar. Strike! The youngster running ahead turned around and shouted. The few people lying on the ground frantically stood up and surrounded the wild boar. Kacha A small budding tree, under the impact of the wild boar, snapped in half and the tree crown fell to the ground. What a close shave! Guyu Chi Cheng wiped the sweat off his forehead, feeling lingering fear. Luckily I managed to use the dragon pill cricket goo and leapt three meters to the left, otherwise this tree would have been my outcome. Pew pew pew. Moonblade danced in the air as it hit the wild boar's body, causing long and shallow cuts. 
Gu Yuemo Bei's face was excited, his eyes glowing, his spirits immersed in this battle. Half an hour later, the wild boar collapsed due to excessive loss of blood. Gu Yuemo Bei breathed roughly and also sat on the ground, his entire body full of mud and grass, at the same time full of sweat. Fighting against a living being like the wild boar is indeed different from the wooden puppet, grass puppet during practice battles. I spent thirty minutes just to kill a wild boar, I wonder how are the others doing. On a hidden small hill, there was a temporarily built tent. The tent blocked the punishing sun rays and casted an area of cool dark shadowy shade. Under the cover, there was a few chairs and tables, with the academy elder sitting at the main seat. Beside him, there were other clan elders. A few Gu masters were standing behind them. In the surrounding forests around the tent, there were also some hidden Gu masters. At this time, the forest ahead had an abnormal disturbance. Whoosh! A Gu master emerged from the forest like a shadow and quickly ran out, kneeling outside the tentage. How is the situation? Academy Elder asked. Reporting to Lord Elder, at this point, there are no casualties among the students. The Gu Master quickly answered. Good, good. An afternoon had already gone by since the mid-year exam started. To have no injuries, this is different from the past years. It looks like this is all the Academy Elder's effort. The other clan elders nodded satisfactorily, praising in turns. The academy elder shook his head slightly, he knew the reason. This was due to Fang Yuan's emergence, extorting his classmates, causing them to practice hard on basic martial arts, thus having such a performance. He looked towards the kneeling Gu master, and continued asking, then at this point, whose results are the best? The Gu master answered immediately, reporting to Lord, at this point, Guyu Fang Yuan, Fang Zheng, Mo Bei, Qi Cheng, are leading. Qi Cheng killed three boars, Fang Zheng and Mo Bei killed five, and Fang Yuan has the most, at eight. Oh. To think Fang Yuan is leading. In all the years, it is a very rare sight that A and B grade talents are being suppressed by a C grade. He has the liquor worm right? That means he has upper stage green copper primeval essence, so to have such a result, it is understandable. I believe that from now on, Fang Zheng, Mo Bei and Qi Cheng would surpass him. Although he has the liquor worm, his primeval essence recovery rate cannot compare to A, B grade talents. The other clan elders discussed. You may go. Academy Elder waved his hand towards the kneeling Gu Master. Instruct the others, focus on their protecting job. Especially Fang Zheng, Qi Cheng and Mo Bei, pay more attention and ensure their safety. Yes, Lord. The Gu Master retreated. These outdoor combats to most students, it was really their first time. Thus, there was danger and the clan naturally has plans. Dozens of rank two Gu masters were concealed in the forests, controlling the safety of this entire examination. At the same time, some rank three clan elders were staying here to anticipate sudden accidents. The blazing sun slowly descended from the highest point in the sky, gradually nearing the northeast mountains. The sunset glow ignited the clouds, it was the sun's last flow of passion. As the last sunlight shone into the forest, another wild boar fell on the ground. 23rd. Fang Yuan calculated in his heart and then squatted down, skillfully carving out a wild boar teeth. There was a bag on his back, inside was a large number of wild boar teeth. At the same time, he had another bag, carrying the teeth of those boars he killed last time. These teeth were originally stored in the Rock Crack secret cave, and were retrieved by Fang Yuan the previous night, stored into a bag and buried in a secret location. I am familiar with the terrain and wild boar distribution, at the same time I have upper stage primeval essence to use the moonlight goo together with the little light goo. 
The other's efficiency definitely cannot compare to me. Just with this bag on me, I can get number one easily. I wonder what expressions they would show when I take out the other bag later. Hee <laughs> hee. Fong Yuan looked at the sky, it was time to retrieve the other bag. Thinking of this, in his head, a map showed up. These days, he had memorized the beast skin map. Fong Yuan was clear of his current position. If he turned left and walked along the stream for 15 minutes, he would reach the location where he buried the bag. But when he was about to move, he hesitated. With my current location, I am only five to six hundred meters away from the nearest red circle marking. Such a rare chance, should I go take a look? Once he had the thought, it was unstoppable. Since he had already won anyway, Fan Yuan had a lot of time left. That beast skin map had three red circle markings, these three locations were very important to old man Wang. It is also the only meaning that I could not decipher on the map. I'll go see. Fang Yuan naturally knew that there were Gu masters controlling the scene, but this was also why he needed evidence. Immediately, he acted like he was going to continue killing wild boars, and moved deeper into the forest. Seven minutes later, he arrived at the red marking location. A treehouse was hidden among the bushes on a huge tree, and if one did not observe closely they would not be able to find it. This is old man Wang's temporary residence while hunting. Fang Yuan frowned, his heart getting confused. He climbed into the treehouse. When he saw the sight in the treehouse, his expression changed. Chapter 74 Solving the Mystery with Knowledge and Discovering Killing Intent the space in the treehouse isn't large, but there were many items inside, so at one glance it seemed extremely messy. The floor in the center had a thick dark yellow colored carpet. Inside the house, there was an iron stove beside the wall, and on it there was a bronze kettle. Inside the stove there was black colored soot, and beside it there was a small pile of unburnt dried firewood. Despite it being summer, the nights in this mountain were still icy cold. The iron stove could maintain the entire treehouse's warmth when lit, despite its small size. The treehouse has two sets of windows, two to three ropes wrapped as the frame of the windows, connecting the two together in the middle of the room. On the rope hanged several torn pieces of clothing, the torn patches pieced together. It was obviously an adult's clothing and was still slightly damp, not completely dry from the sun yet. The light of the setting sun penetrated the windows and shone inside the treehouse. The treehouse was rather dark internally. At a corner there were axes and hunting knives with beast skin wrapped on the handle. On the blade there was even dark red blood traces. On the other side of the wall, there was a piece of bamboo paper with a dagger stabbed in the middle. There was a young man's face on the bamboo paper it was Fang Yuan's appearance. This all meant that during this short period, someone had come to the hidden treehouse and lived here. The person's intention was obvious, his target was Fang Yuan. The paper was stabbed by a dagger and showed his evil intent to the extremes. Such a scenario, even Fang Yuan was taken aback. What does this person want, and why is he against me? No, maybe it isn't me but Fang Zheng. Fang Yuan's thoughts flew all over his mind. Fang Zheng was an A-grade talent, the only one in the last three years of the Guyu clan, and is their only hope. If he could be truly nurtured, he would be the next figure in the clan. But nurturing was a process. During this process, there were calamities and human-made disasters. Ignoring calamities, the most important was human disasters. As everyone knew, Qing Mao Mountain did not only have the Guyu clan, but also the Bai clan and Xiong clan. These two forces would not be happy to see the dominating Guyu clan successfully nurturing an A-grade talent. Thus, sending assassins to get rid of him was a common thing. In this world, there are little geniuses, 
and even less of those who could successfully grow up. A grade talent goo masters, it was not that they did not exist. Three years ago, one appeared in the Guyu clan. In even earlier generations, they also appeared on occasions. But on Qing Mao Mountain, out of the three clans in these years, there was only one successful A grade talent nurtured, the Bai clans by Ning Bing of rank 3 cultivation. Such a scenario was enough to say many things. This person, is he from the Bai clan or the Xiong clan? They want to get rid of Guyu Fangjing so soon. Fang Yuan frowned, staring at the portrait. But why did old man Wang's beast skin map indicate this treehouse? Was he a spy from the other forces? No, this person is obviously after me. Fang Yuan's eyes shone with brilliance. At this moment, he thought of many scenes. The first time, it was beside the trap, and the four hunters' conversation. A hunter said, Second brother Wang, you're almost nineteen, it is time you got married and have children. Wang Er said, Humph, as a true man, how can I be lusting after such small beauty? One day, I will walk out of this Qing Mao mountain and roam the world, learn everything in the world and live up to the expectations of my male body. The second time was after he himself acted, Wang Er's peculiar calmness. He pulled his bow and pointed at Fang Yuan. The others were already begging for forgiveness. The third was when Fang Yuan was asking questions. I ask you, in old man Wang's family, who else is there? A hunter answered, Hunter Wang originally had a wife, but that was decades ago, and she was killed by wild wolves that intruded the village. Before his wife died she gave birth to two sons and a daughter. But the oldest son Wang that died on the mountain while hunting three years ago. There is no one else in the Wang family. I, I remember. Old man Wang actually also has a daughter-in-law, Wang Da's old wife. But after Wang Da disappeared, his wife died due to a broken heart. That year, the village even specially sent down a chastity memorial arch. But rumor has it that Wang Da's wife wanted to remarry, and she was actually hounded to death by old man Wang. When you killed old man Wang, Lord, you are helping us citizens, rooting out the evil and bringing people peace. The other hunter quickly added, that's right, that's right. Actually Lord, we have long found this old Wang unfavorable. Humph, he's nothing special, just that he can hunt better than us. We're all just mortals, yet he thinks he's more special than us and purposely moved out of the village to live here. As the younger generation, we sometimes will ask him to teach us and impart his experiences, but he would just outright chase us away and never allow us to show up again near the wooden house. Old man Wang's family, moving out of the village, away from people. Eldest son Wang De, died on the mountains three years ago while hunting. Wang Da's wife wanted to remarry, and was forced to commit suicide by old man Wang, and obtained a chastity memorial arch. Old man Wang chased away all the young hunters who were trying to ask for guidance. Old man Wang tried his best to hide the beast skin map, and on the bamboo paper, there were no such circles. Wang Er was at such a young age, but was calm towards Gu masters. At the same time he did not marry, and had the aspiration to surpass mortal realm in his heart. Most importantly, the circles on the beast skin map indicated a hidden realm, there was obvious human activity in the area. At the same time this person held strong hatred towards Fang Yuan. All the clues pieced together, if separated they were not easy to link, but once linked it was peculiar. The more Fang Yuan thought about it, the more he felt that the mist shrouding this mystery has thinned. The setting sun's afterglow passed through the window and reflected upon his face, the strong light alike to the color of blood. The surroundings had fallen into a deadly silence, was there someone secretly peeping at him all this time? Suddenly, Fang Yuan's eyes lit up, his vision crossing through time and space, he had seen the truth. Wang De, did not die. 
At this moment, the glow in his eyes radiated the surroundings, one. Not only did he not die, he even became a demonic goo master by chance. It was not that mortals had no cultivating talent, but that the clan restricted the cultivation methods from leaking out, and controlled it tightly in their hands. But there was no absolute in this world. Mortals could become goo masters as well, from accidents in the wild and encountering the hope goo, opening their aperture. Or inheriting a certain strength inheritance, or getting the personal guidance from a certain clan's member. But these goo masters were not accepted into the clan completely, and could only be their henchmen. Thus, they would not be satisfied and became loner goo masters. Their cultivation is extremely difficult. As time passed, as they competed for resources, they would have to kill Snatch and Murder, turning towards the demonic path. Because of some lucky chance, the highest possibility is that he obtained a large fortune from a certain Goo Master's corpse and became a Goo Master three years ago. To hide from others, he sent out the fake information that he died, but no one had ever seen his corpse. Old Man Wang's family found out about this and moved out of the village, risking the chance that wild beasts might invade and lived alone, just to hide this truth. But there were some problems that occurred, Wang Da's wife did not agree and might have wanted to report to the Guyu clan. Wang family had no choice but to kill her, and released some seemingly real and fake information to hide the truth. Something about her remarrying, or forcing her to commit suicide to hide the truth under all these rumors. Once in a while, Wang Da would return home to stay. Thus, old man Wang had to chase those youngsters who were seeking guidance away. Wang Er, after interacting with his brother had dispelled his fear of Gu Masters, and naturally developed the goal of wanting to be a Gu Master and explore the greatness of the outside world. Because of the fear that Wang De might be exposed, even at such an old age Wang Er did not get married. Wang De could not stay in the house, thus old man Wang drew three red circles on the beast skin map, these three locations should be hidden residential areas like this. Having three hiding spots, Wang De rotated his stay around the houses, and lived in the fringe of the three clan's authority. The meaning of the three red circles was finally revealed. Red indicated alertness, but most importantly to old man Wang, this was his eldest son's residence. Thus, when Fang Yuan wanted the old man to draw the map, he did not indicate it on the bamboo paper, it was to protect his son. Similarly, he drew fewer red crosses, to avenge the death of his son. Maybe at a certain time each year, Wang De will return home to stay for a while. When he returned, he found that his entire family was dead. After asking around, he found out it was me, thus he used the dagger to pin my portrait on the wall, so that he would exact revenge on me. With his previous life's experience, Fang Yuan was almost certain this was the truth. If it was some other power that wanted to assassinate Fang Zheng, they could be much more subtle. They did not have to develop a spy like Old Man Wang. After all, Old Man Wang lived at the mountain foot, not inside the Guyu village. To think that over a beast skin map, I provoked a murderer of the demonic faction. This world really works in wondrous ways, Fang Yuan could not help but snicker. He first killed Wang Er, the old man Wang and Wang's daughter, and it was all for the beast skin map. Old man Wang was the number one hunter in the village, so his beast skin map had the greatest value. At that time he was thinking, it's merely three mortal lives, what's the big deal, I'll just killing them conveniently. In this world, anyone had the right to live, and anyone could die just as easily. To think that out of nowhere, a demonic Wei Gu master emerged. With regards to this, Fang Yuan did not have a tint of regret, but instead felt at ease. If he had been too merciful at the time, in his goal to obtain the Wang family beast skin map, Wang Er, old man Wang and sister Wang would have been a huge disturbance. To protect Wang Da's secret, they would not give him the real product. Wang Er's battle strength could exterminate an ordinary rank 1 upper stage Gu Master. 
Old man Wang was even more experienced with age, and in terms of killing strength, he was even more of a threat than Wang Er. Even if he had gotten the real product, old man Wang would have informed Wang Da, and Wang Da would have gotten Fang Yuan's information immediately. No matter how he dealt with it, he would be in the shadows while Fang Yuan was out in the open. Wang Da would be having the advantage of being in control of the situation. Good thing I killed them at the start. Regardless of what, I have to control the situation in my own palm. This way, even if I do not get the real item, there is no loss to me, and I can even snatch other hunters. Killing old man Wang and that girl caused Wang Da to spend a lot of time just to get my intel. Needless to say, those two young hunters must have already been silenced. Fang Yuan confirmed in his heart. There was only a few people who knew the situation, and Wang Da would not attack Jiang He. Once Jiang He is dead, the clan would send people to investigate. But if those two hunters disappeared on the mountain, it was easy to manipulate. Jiang He would not reveal an incident like this as it would affect the clan's evaluation of him, and would even cover up the situation. Chapter 75 Resolution of the Demonic Way The thoughts of Fang Yuan flew all over the place in the tree house. With the knowledge acquired from his previous life, Fang Yuan could sense Wang Da's existence, but how was his strength? Fang Yuan had never seen this Wang Da, but with the information at hand, there was much he could analyze from this. Courage is built upon the basis of strength, he had collected my information and still wants to exact revenge on me. With such a confidence, his cultivation has to be above rank one. These three years he had been moving around the three red circled areas, living on the fringe of the three clan villages. Almost every day he faced the risk of getting discovered and purged. This shows he does not have the strength to roam outside, and roaming outside requires rank 3 cultivation. This means that, at first evaluation, he is a rank 2. Fang Yuan's eyes glinted with cold light, counting the time, he disappeared for 3 years and cultivated to rank 2 now, so he should be A, B or C grade talent, and his aperture should have about 40 to 70 percent primeval essence. These three years, he could survive and at the same time, live at home despite Jiang He's observation, so he has to have a stealth type of goo worm at work. Information was the most important thing to a Gu master showdown. Although Fang Yuan had no investigative type goo worm, with his experience and knowledge, he could forcefully reverse engineer Wang Da's cultivation level and goo worms to a highly plausible degree. Very quickly, his mental image of a rank 2 demonic faction Gu Master appeared, carrying the hatred of his family's murder and lurking somewhere to kill his revenge target. I can kill others, others can naturally come to kill me. This is nothing. Fang Yuan laughed lightly. In this world, anyone had the right to live, and anyone had the chance to die. Those who kill, are bound to get killed. Since he committed murder, he should be mentally prepared to get killed. If he was killed like that, then he would die like that, it was nothing much, and definitely no regrets. This was the path he chose. This point, Fang Yuan had great resolve already, this is the resolution of the demonic way. One heir wants to kill me, then in this mid-year exam, it is definitely the best chance. Normally, students would reside in a village, and with his rank 2 cultivation, he cannot creep into the village, that is courting death. Maybe he evaluated that I might come out to hunt. But Qing Mao Mountain is so huge, he alone has to hide his traces and also have to search for me, it is too difficult. Now that there's this chance, he is most likely to strike. He is a rank 2 Gu master, and one that has struggled for three years, living a life of danger and unknown, a demonic faction Gu Master nurtured like this. With my current battle strength, I am definitely not his match. But this does not mean that I have no chance of survival. Escape Fang Yuan instantly decided. Nothing is too shameless if it is to survive, so if he can't fight it, run. 
For a Gu master to make a sudden breakthrough is almost never happening. Fighting against a higher realm is possible, but that is built on the base that the Gu master has special Gu worms. Fang Yuan had a number of Gu worms in his possession, but the spring autumn cicada was hibernating and unusable, while the liquor worm, white boar Gu, little light Gu and moonlight Gu were not trump cards to fight a higher realm. Obviously knowing the enemy was unbeatable, yet resolving to fight to the death, that is a stupid, hot-blooded behavior. Even if he wins, that would not win him the favor of fate. Fang Yuan is cautious his entire life even with trump cards, and if the chances of victory is slim, he would choose to avoid combat. He liked to be in control of the situation, using unscrupulous methods to raise his chances to the limit. He loved fighting assured battles. Only when he has no choice would he engage in a risky fight. Thus, his favorite activity was to bully the weak and snatch resources to get stronger. Strong enough until he surpasses his enemies and then stomp on them afterwards, bullying the weak. There is nothing shameless about this, those who find challenges just to prove their bravery and risk their lives to fight to the death with strong enemies, that is the real stupidity. But unfortunately, this quality has been praised and recommended, because any organization needed the individual to sacrifice themselves to protect the interests of the ones in power. One just needs to think slightly to know that survival is the prerequisite to all activities. In order to survive and fulfill the ambitions on their heart, this is a person's greatest courage. Dying for aspiration, those are fools. Surviving shamelessly for their ambitions, those are true brave warriors. On earth, Han Xian, 1, endured the shame of crawling through someone's legs, Chow Chow, 2, was chased till he shaved his beard and torn his robe, Yu Wang, 3, in order to live, had to eat shit to express his loyalty. That's why, fuck off with honor and reputation, and face. Regardless of organization, they would applaud such a value system. The more that needed to be sacrificed, the more they would be promoted, like a military. Which direction should I go, the one that has the lowest chance of encountering Wang De? A map appeared in Fang Yuan's mind. Wang De already knows I have the beast skin map, now he should be hiding in the forest, searching for me by looking for the wild boar distribution on the map. I cannot go to these places, thus I can only move in reverse to find a chance to survive. Thinking of this, a slightly insane route surfaced in Fang Yuan's mind under the sunset in the mountain forest, tree shadows overlapped and wild grass grew abundantly. A pair of bloodshot eyes hid deep in the shadows. His eyes burnt with hatred and anger, as if it couldn't be doused even with a tsunami. Fang Yuan, I finally found you. Wang De gritted his teeth, growling the words out from his mouth. Under his gaze, not far away, a youngster with a thin body and pale face was traversing the forest. With his enemy nearby, Wang De did not act immediately, but turned his gaze to several other positions. From each of these positions, an invigilator Gu Master was hidden. To prevent cheating and for immediate treatment of injuries, the area nearby had around a few dozen rank 2 Gu Masters hiding. There was even rank 3 clan elders holding the fort on the mountains high up. Wang De carefully moved around the forest and collected a lot of intel. I want to kill Fang Yuan, so I need to get rid of these three Gu Masters first. Otherwise, once I show myself, I will be disturbed. Maybe with surprise, I can kill Fang Yuan, but I will also get killed by the Gu Masters that chase after me from there. I have rank 2 middle stage cultivation, and there's 50% primeval essence in my body. I have to act first and kill these three Gu Masters, it is difficult. I have to strike consecutively in a very short period. Otherwise, once they find their companions dead, they would become alert and my traces will be exposed. Shadow Follower Gu Wang De closed his eyes and called in his heart. Immediately, his body became enshrouded in a lump of darkness and could move among the tree shadows. 
All was silent. In a thick bush nearby, the Guyu clan's rank two Gu master sprawled inside, yawning out of boredom. So boring, accompanying these junior students, I feel like a nanny. This Gu master complained softly, not feeling the shadow that was slowly creeping around him. A pair of bony hands stretched out from the shadows. This pair of hands was pale to the limit, the joints were huge and the ten nails were sharp and long, the nails dyed a shade of dark purple and emitted a slightly fishy smell. What smell is this? The Guyu clan Gu master sniffed, frowning subconsciously. He just wanted to investigate, but it was too late. Wang De pounced like a snake, striking at lightning speed. One hand covered the Gu master's mouth and nose, while the other stabbed from the shadows towards his back. His dark purple nails were sharp as blades, his fingers easily entering the Gu master's body and reaching his heart. The fingernails were poisonous, and at that moment it invaded the heart. Through the blood, it spread all over the Gu master's body. The Gu master's body stiffened and lost all signs of life. Although they were both rank two Gu masters, one had assaulted abruptly with preparation, so before the battle even begun, it had ended. I used 10% of my primeval essence, 40% left. Wang De checked his aperture, and fused into the shadows once again. A moment later, the second Gu master hiding behind a rock also met his assault. His eyes shrunk to pin size as he collapsed on the ground. The poison invaded his body, and soon he turned purple, and from his nose two streams of purple blood flowed out. 30% left. Wang De chanted silently, turning into shadows again. Who is it? The third Gu master was hiding on a tree branch atop a huge tree. At the crucial moment he sensed something wrong, and at the time where Wang De struck, he turned around and grabbed the two poisonous hands. Damn it! Wang De laughed sinisterly, his ten nails growing crazily, at once becoming five centimeters long, stabbing the Gu master's forearm and piercing his skin. His forearm bled and the blood quickly turned dark purple. This is the love-life separation. The third Gu master seeing this was shocked beyond doubt, the purple poison had already infected his face. He knew he had no poison-resistance Gu worm and was surely dead, thus he showed resolve on his face, shouting, then let's die together. He opened his mouth and stretched out his tongue. There was a crescent moon tattoo on his tongue, it was the moonlight goo. A moon blade shot out and slashed Wang Da's right shoulder, piercing through and coming out from his back. The blood splattered. Wang Da grunted, his body swaying a little, but the goo master had already passed away, with a trace of life left. Correct, this is love life separation. Wang Da stood on the tree branch, slowly standing up showing a bitter smile. Love life separation, the number one poison among the rank two goo worms. To refine it, one needs the rank one life breath grass, widow spider, red needle scorpion and the heart of a lover. To refine this goo worm, Wang De killed his own wife who loved him deeply, and dug out her heart. It is all for survival, I could only choose strength, this is the resolution of my demonic path. Wang Da's eyes were red as he stared tightly at the nearby youngster. I gave up on love, and only had kinship left, but you took them from me. Fang Yuan. He growled lowly, I want you to regret deeply all that you did. Chapter 76, Do You Regret It? Kill. Wang Da growled, ferociously leaping into the air from the tree branch. As he was about to get near to his mortal enemy, Three moon blades shot out from nowhere suddenly and intercepted him midway. Why is there a fourth Gu master? Wang Da's heart sank, twisting his body forcefully in midair, narrowing avoiding two moon blades. The remaining one, which he could no longer evade, hit his left leg. Bang! Wang Da crashed onto the ground, lowering his head to look at his left leg. 
There was a wound, deep and long, blood already dripping all over. Damn! Wang Dip gritted his teeth, his heart thinking, shadow follower Gu. Immediately, he turned into a lump of dark shadow as his speed rose drastically, moving backwards without a sound. At this moment, a Gu worm flew out from nowhere, at the same time an old and weary voice sounded out. Flash blink Gu, explode. The Gu worm exploded on command, turning into a blinding white light. The white light was unavoidable, abruptly appearing and turning the entire dark forest bright. Ah! Wanda shrieked. His body which had turned into shadows could not hide anywhere under the bright light, and went back to his human form. Although the flash blink goo was only rank 1 and also a consumable type, it was the complete counter of Wang Da's shadow follower goo. Once the darkness was dispelled by the light, the rank 2 shadow follower goo needed to rest 3 hours before it could be used again. In nature, all beings are equal, one counters another. Although the shadow follower goo had very strong lurking abilities, it also had a great weakness. After he was countered, Wang Da's heart sank to the bottom of the valley. This fourth Gu master was more experienced, not only did he know which Gu to use, he also hid himself well, a true foe. More importantly, Wang Da could no longer use the shadow follower Gu, thus having no way to retreat. I am Gu Yu So, lad, if you surrender now, my clan might still spare your life. A white-haired, Silver beard rank 2 Gu Master appeared in front of Wang Da's vision. Spare me, humph, I'll kill you first. Wang Da knew that if it was dragged, there would be more Gu Masters appearing to deal with him, he had to kill this fourth Gu Master as soon as possible. My primeval essence only has 20% left, be it revenge or preserving my life, I have to kill this meddlesome old fellow first. Wang Da picked up his spirits and jumped towards Gu Yu So. Gu Yu So snorted. His entire body, be it hair or poor hair, grew insanely and intertwined, in the blink of an eye forming a snow-white battle armor with a spiky design. Seeing this change, Wang Da's expression changed. The experienced Gu Master was like a porcupine, causing Wang Da to not know how to strike. His rank 2 strong poison Gu love life separation, although the poison was extremely strong and deadly, it did not have strong attacking abilities, only usable as a sneak attack. Wang Da only had love life separation and shadow follower Gu. If he had a defensive Gu worm, he would not have gotten hit by the Moonblade. Humph, if I cannot deal with you, I'll kill Fang Yuan first. Wang Da was not stupid. The three years of living had made him cunning and ruthless. He moved quickly, getting around Gu Yu So and attacking the culprit of his family's murder. Dream on. Gu Yu So activated his primeval essence, and his body of spikes immediately shot out two sharp pins, spiraling and flying five to six meters towards Wang Da. Wang Da's body shifted, narrowly avoiding the two snow white spikes. On his hands, his ten nails were half a palm long, purple and dark, the fog state poison circulating them. Die! Wang Da was already mad from battle, laughing maniacally as he rushed towards his target. In his eyes, Fang Yuan's face was full of shock and panic. Killing intent had overtaken Wang Da's brain, he could almost hear himself piercing Fang Yuan's skin, and his indignant last breath. You wish. Seeing that he was about to succeed, another person appeared, blocking Wang Da's way. The fifth Gu master rushed over from nearby. It's actually the love life separation. This middle aged man was unmoved by Wang Da's crazy and ferocious demeanor. Rock Skin Gu. The middle aged man activated his primeval essence, red steel primeval essence gushing out like smoke his naked arms immediately turned from yellow to gray-white color. At the same time both his arms expanded like balloons, forming a large and thick rock arm. 
As both parties got closer, Wang Da's expression became more twisted and insane. The middle-aged Gu Master had a solemn expression as he stretched out both arms to grab Wang Da. Trying to get me with this speed? Wang Da showed a mocking expression. The middle-aged man's limbs were covered by a thick rock skin, even Wang Da's nails could not penetrate. But the arms were really too heavy and slow. Fong Da felt that he could easily evade them. Really? Jade Wind Wheel. The middle-aged Gu Master shouted, and suddenly a pair of jade-colored cyclones circulated around his rock arm like armbands. The rock arm speed immediately rose. How can that be, Ugh. Wang Da's face was shocked as he was swept by the rock arm and flew away. The middle-aged Gu Master was experienced in battle. If he had used the Bi Gu Jade Wind Wheel from the start, Wang Da might not have fallen so easily. Wang Da was sent flying by the rock arm, falling on the ground in a mess. The chest that was hit felt pain. Puke. He barely got up, but could not help but vomit blood. 5% primeval essence left, I'm gonna die. He checked his aperture, laughing bitterly. Seeing Fang Yuan near him, he showed insane resolve on his face, even if I die, you will join me. Ah! He ignored his injuries and rushed out. Block him! The middle-aged Gu Master was a pure close-ranged fighter with no long-range Gu, at once he could do nothing. The old Gu Master had already arrived, his body's white hair turning into finger-sized spirals as they flew like nimble snakes, extending five to six meters and reached from behind, piercing Wang Da's body. But Wang Da did not care, rushing out regardless. Die! He screamed loudly, his ten fingernails already fifty centimeters long. The middle-aged Gu Master chased after, and upon seeing this scene, his expression changed as he could no longer stop it. Seeing that Wang Da was about to get his way, a bright blue jade light burst from the other side. Jade Skin Gu Under the pressure of life and death, Fang Zheng screamed out loudly. Immediately, his skin was covered by a sturdy layer of jade skin. Wang Da's fingers were like knife blades, stabbing at him. Although the love life separation did not have strong attacking ability, the jade skin goo was only a rank one goo worm and could not block his nails. Howl! The elderly goo master seeing Fang Zheng about to die, shouted frantically and his eyes expanded. Even more snow white needles shot out and pierced Wang Da's body. After that, the needles worked like snakes, first piercing his back to his chest, the circulating around his neck his arms and his legs. Boiling blood poured from Wang Da's body, immediately dyeing the white hair red. His entire body was covered by white hair, just like the wild boar who had fallen into a trap of green bamboo spikes, stopping his charge and being unable to move. An intense feeling of dizziness hit him. Wang Da laughed pathetically, he knew that death was impending. How unsatisfying! His vision was dyed blur, and on his death moment, the most vivid memory in his life surfaced again. One air. He subconsciously called out his wife's name, as the knife on his hand pierced her body. Why? His wife looked at Wang Da, her beautiful face showing confusion and shock, tightly staring at Wang Da's eyes. Wang Da's eyes were red, as his body shivered, forcing out a word from his mouth, sorry. His wife smiled slightly, her smile full of love. There was not a single drop of hate. I understand, she said. She wanted to stretch out her right hand, touching Wang Da's face for the last time before she died. But in the middle, her hand dropped. Killing his wife for her heart, and refining love-life separation. From then on he had strength and went on the demonic path. Do you have regrets? From that day on, he constantly asked himself this. I regret it. 
he regretted so much that he would rather die, thus he swore that he had to protect the remaining family members of his. But. But. If I could start from the beginning again, one heir, I would still do the same. Emotional tears poured from Wang Da's red eyes. Fang Zheng stared at him, his body glowing with jade light. From start to end, he was in deep confusion and suspicion. An unfamiliar Gu master rushed madly towards himself, and wanted to tear him to bits. But Fang Zheng did not know him. Under the thick death aura, Fang Zheng could not move an inch. His mind was blank as he only subconsciously activated the jade skin goo. Wang Da's nails pierced the jade skin and stabbed one centimeter in, but did not move anymore. He died. He was full of tears when he died. It's over. Fang Jing breathed roughly, his eyes losing focus and seemed rather hollow. Then, a strong sense of dizziness overcame him. Plop. He also fell on the ground. Love life separation, the strongest rank, two poison. Although it did not pierce through all the jade skin, the poison already invaded his body. Chapter 77, An Odd Coincidence A wild boar almost as huge as an elephant was lying in the mud pit. It closed its eyes shut, half kneeling and half lying, a pair of tusks clean from soil, shining like sharp blades. The twilight reflected on its dark black fur, its huge stomach was white and with each breath, moved up and down creating a snorting sound. Wild Boar King Fong Yuan was several hundred meters away from it, but still carefully walked along with the direction of the wind. Even though I can kill wild boars now, against this wild boar king, I can only run away. Even an average rank 2 Gu master cannot kill it. If he is not clear of the Gu worms on its body, he might even fall prey to it. King of the beasts normally have Gu worms inhabiting their bodies. On the wild boar king's body, there would normally be boar Gu, such as pink boar Gu or flower boar Gu. Other than the boar species, there might also be beast skin Gu or spike fur worm. In this world, there are all sorts of goo worms. Normally, goo worms reside in the bodies of strong wild beasts, and live alongside the wild beasts. When the wild beast gets attacked, the goo worms will sense the danger and assist the wild beast in resisting the strong foe. This wild boar king's body was huge, and its strength greatly exceeded the average wild boar. Fong Yuan was no match against it alone not to mention there was at least one or more mysterious goo worms in its body. However, Fang Yuan's adventure this time, was not to kill the wild boar king. It was to avoid Wang Da's pursue. Wang Da knew that Fang Yuan had the beast skin map, and Fang Yuan used that knowledge to his advantage. Going nowhere but instead heading towards the wild boar king's danger marking area. The wild boar king although dangerous, was still a beast after all, and had no human intelligence. Old man Wang as a mortal, could venture to this place and retreat safely, so why couldn't Fang Yuan do the same? Going on a reverse path, although seemingly dangerous, hid a way to survive instead. As he moved even further, the wild boar king was slowly left behind by Fang Yuan. On the map, it would seem like Fang Yuan took a big circle and went around the Red Cross, forming a concave curve. Finally, he reached the hill where several clan elders were staying and having the mid-year assessment there on the spot. An hour later, a youngster full of grass bits, his shirt torn in several areas and his feet full of mud, carried a bag and ran up the hill. This pathetic-looking youngster was Fang Yuan. I'm finally safely back here. At this place, there are clan elders to protect me and my safety is assured. But I cannot afford to be careless. Fang Yuan sighed in relief, and slowly ascended the hill. The hill had a simple tentage and tens of students were nearby as the academy's guards were collating the wild boar tusks in their bags. 
the few clan elders that were stationed here were missing, and only one was left. Why is the atmosphere so weird? Fang Yuan frowned slightly, acutely feeling something important had occurred. When he got near the tentage, he heard the students' discussions. Did you hear, there was an assassination earlier, and several rank two Gu masters died. Are you serious? It's true, I came here early, and I saw Gu Yu Fang Zheng carried away by several clan elders, hurrying away. Gu Yu Fang Zheng is too unlucky to encounter something like this during the exam. He he, you don't know her. Huh? The target was Fang Zheng, because he is a great talent. I wonder if he'll die. Even if he doesn't die, he's gonna be affected. Maybe his talent might drop after that injury. Fang Yuan's footsteps halted. He was clear in his heart, conjuring the truth of the matter. Wang De wanted to deal with me and avenge his kin. But after I found the treehouse, I changed my route and went towards the wild boar king. Wang De did not expect this and found Fang Zheng by accident instead. His source of information came from those hunters and he did not know that I have a twin brother. He mistook Fang Zheng as me and wanted to kill me, but was stopped by the surrounding Gu masters who were protecting the area. Right now the question is, did Wang De die? Fang Yuan frowned tightly. Wang De successfully escaping, Wang De captured, Wang De killed, these three possibilities would greatly affect his future plans and actions. Thinking for a while, Fang Yuan decided to follow his original plan. The academy elder's expression was ugly, Fang Zheng was actually assassinated. Without any clues or evidence, he would not be able to guess that Fang Zheng had become Fang Yuan's scapegoat, but thought of the Bai clan and Xiong clan. Fang Zheng was the only A grade talent that the Gu Yu clan had for the last three years, the Bai clan and Xiong clan would naturally not let him grow. Sending an assassin Gu master to kill him and prevent him from getting stronger, this was normal. Even the Gu Yu clan would do something like this. Secretly sending Gu masters and targeting the other two clans' genius students. The assassin was killed on the spot, but I wonder how is Fang Zheng's injuries. Academy elder thought, and at this moment, his attendant brought him a piece of paper. Academy elder received the paper, reading without paying proper attention, in this year's examination, the results are as follows. Gu Yu Qi Ching 16 tusks, Gu Yu Mo Bei 14 tusks. The surrounding students' attention were obtained. The results were clear. D grade students, even if they worked together, they could only obtain three to four tusks. B and C grades, at most eight to nine. Those with more than ten tusks were the good performers. The best was Gu Yu Qi Cheng with sixteen tusks. Next was Imo Bei, and as for Fang Zheng he had ten. Gu Yu Qi Cheng showed a smug expression. He was lucky this time and encountered two wild boars fighting each other, thus he got the easy reward. Gu Yu Mo Bei was indignant, allowing Qi Cheng to surpass him. The academy elder announced, as such, I announce the number one student for this examination is. Halt! Fang Yuan stepped out at this moment. Fang Yuan, you are late. The examination ended an hour ago, according to the rules, the wild boar tusks that you obtain will be deducted by four as punishment. Qi Cheng immediately shouted. Fang Yuan ignored him and opened the bag on his back, grabbing the bottom of the bag and pouring out the contents. Crash! Dozens of wild boar tusks gathered into a pile by his feet. This! Qi Cheng stared with his mouth agape. Mo Bei and the others stared their eyeballs out at the pile. How can there be so many? This is too much. The academy elder looked at Fang Yuan in disbelief. Fang Yuan, did you hunt all these? Fang Yuan cupped his fists. I only hunted a dozen tusks myself, but I found a bag that could have been hidden by hunters. Inside it were many wild boar tusks. 
I thought about it, the exam was that we had to obtain as many tusks as possible within a day, and did not specify that we have to kill it ourselves, thus I brought it here. Once he finished, the crowd burst into discussions. How can this be? Way too lucky. This is too fake, could the questions have leaked thus he cheated? The academy elder stared at Fang Yuan, looking for a while, then declared, this exam, Fang Yuan is the first. The family head room's atmosphere was heavy. Guyu Bo sat at the leading seat, and the other dozen elders sat in two rows beside him, their faces full of rage. Guyu Yao Ji, you are the number one healer in our clan, I'm asking you how is Fang Jing now? Guyu Bo asked a clan elder. Guyu Yao Ji was an old woman with a hunched back, her face full of tree bark like wrinkles. She coughed twice, slowly saying, reporting to clan head, the situation has stabilized. Fang Zhang's life is in no danger, but he is still sleeping. His talent did not drop because of this. Good if the talent didn't drop. Guyu Bo breathed a sigh of relief, the ask the punishment hall's elder, has the assassin situation been assessed? The punishment hall elder was not as senior as Guyu Yao Ji, and immediately stood up, lowering his head, yes, 35 years old, male, identity unknown, possibly a demonic faction Gu master. He has two Gu worms, shadow follower Gu and love life separation. Guyu Bo nodded, seems like an assassin, love life separation, the rank 2 number 1 poison, no wonder he could kill three of my Gu masters. Clan head, we have to investigate further. It's either the Bai clan or the Xiong clan. Guyu Qi Lian shouted, his eyes almost bursting into flames. Shadow follower Gu, love life separation, this is not like the Bai or Xiong clan's pawn pieces. He might be an outside demonic faction Gu master, wanting to get affiliated with the clans, thus being instructed to assassinate Fang Zheng to prove his loyalty. Regardless, this matter definitely has to do with the two clans, Gu Yu M. O. Chen coldly said. These two clan elders in power, although they did not get along, once an external enemy appears, they would discard their hatred and knit tightly together. Gu Yu Bo nodded, thinking the same himself. Wang De had disappeared for three years, with no traces to be found. The villagers all thought of him to be dead, thus his identity became a mystery. The Guyu higher-ups did not know this, they would not be concerned with a servant's death. They placed all their attentions on the Xiong and by clans. At this moment, the academy elder walked in. Clan leader. He looked worried and was about to speak when Gu Yu Bo answered, Academy Elder, Fang Zheng is fine, his talent is still a grade. The Academy Elder's face became relaxed. Oh yes, are the other students safe? And for this examination, how are their results, which place is Fang Zheng? Gu Yu Bo asked conveniently. The Academy Elder answered truthfully, and when he said that Fang Yuan had accidentally picked up a bag of wild boar tusks and got first place, Guyu Bo's eyes shone. The hall too went silent. The clan elders, as if they sensed it, subtly observed the atmosphere, and the originally nervous environment became slightly more peculiar. Chapter 78 Great Rewards All According to Plan In the discussion room, Guyu Bo expressionlessly sat in the leader's seat with deep meaningful eyes. The remaining dozen or so clan elders all sat upright, looking down, only using the corner of their eye to sweep the surroundings and discern some clues from their expressions. The atmosphere became delicate. Fang Yuan getting first place, the deeper meaning behind this is definitely not simple. He actually said he found a bag of hidden wild boar tusks, this is too unbelievable. This bag might have been prepared by someone, it is not possible for Fang Yuan to do it himself. That means someone is helping Fang Yuan in the dark. This year's mid-year exam is unlike the previous ones. We had to deploy tens of rank 2 Gu masters to invigilate the exam. 
Thus the contents of this examination, not only does the academy elder know, but many of the elders in the clan as well. If anyone wanted to prepare this bag in advance, it can only be the clan elders present here now, or even the clan leader. The clan elders were all shrewd foxes. After being in the political field for years, they immediately thought of many things. Fang Zheng was an A-grade talent, if he really reached rank 4, what did that mean? That would mean he is the next clan leader. Fang Yuan is Fang Zheng's brother. Even if he is only C-grade, with that blood relationship, he is worth investing in. To the clan leader Gu Yu Bo, if he helped Fang Yuan secretly, that would be bringing him into his faction, and to Fang Zheng, it was a good belt to tie him to the leader faction together. To the clan elders, Fang Zheng who is the only A grade talent in years, has already been absorbed into the clan leader's faction. If he was really nurtured, the clan leader's faction would be even stronger. However, if the clan elders made Fang Yuan into their own, using this layer of blood relation, it would be a good chess piece when dealing in Fang Zheng in the future. Thus, the ten over people in this hall, they all had the motive to help Fang Yuan. But who? Gu Qi Lian thought deeply, I did not recruit Fang Yuan, so who would help him secretly? Is it Mo Chen that old man, hmm, possible? Although Fang Yuan killed his family servant, but that's just a servant, even if they all died it wouldn't hurt him. The clan leader is more possible though, he took in Fang Zheng, so if he recruited Fang Yuan as well, that would increase his control over Fang Zheng. But, in previous years, the norm is to recruit them during the year-end exam. Taking his action now during the mid-year, it is breaking the rules. Not exactly breaking the rules, but it really is throwing a curveball. Just exactly who thinks highly of Fang Yuan, even more than me? Gu Yuemo Chen was also thinking. The truth is, after Fang Yuan killed Gao Wan and sent the minced corpse, he changed his impression of Fang Yuan and had the thoughts of recruiting him. But such actions only happened during the year end, after the students graduated from the academy. Fang Yuan being recruited in advance, it struck Mo Chen by surprise. Gu Yu Bo's gaze was focused on Gu Yu Mo Chen and Gu Yu Qi Lian, the two elders in power. This clan leader had greater insight. Fang Yuan blatantly said a lie and got the first place. This action had the meaning of being fearless, thus sending a signal to everyone to show them that, I'm protecting Fang Yuan. He is now my member, and you all better not touch him. Then who is this person? The political field in the Gu Yu clan was split into three. Other than the clan leader faction, it was Gu Yu Qi Lian's Qi family, and Gu Yu Mo Chen's Mo family. Gu Yu Bo knew that he himself did not take any actions to recruit Fang Yuan. Thus, the greatest suspect was Qi Lian and Mo Chen. These two old fellows, their acting is improving. Seeing their expressions, I really cannot tell. Don't tell me it really isn't them, but some other small faction. Gu Yu Bo observed carefully as he investigated. He did not know that all the elders were like him, observing, suspecting and deducing. The academy elder was also guessing, but he had always been in a neutral position, outside of politics, thus his thoughts were simpler, so Fang Yuan has been recruited by a clan elder. No wonder he let go of Fang Zheng, Mo Bei and Qi Cheng while extorting, that means the one who recruited him was either the clan leader, Qi Lian or Mo Chen. This is good news. It shows that he has accepted reality and has started integrating into the clan. No matter what, he is now a member of the clan, so once he fully integrates, he will contribute his entire life to the clan. After a short silence, Gu Yu Bo could not see any more clues, thus he spoke, an eye for an eye, since the other party has started targeting Fang Zheng, our Gu Yu clan is not to be trifled with, we will show them. Dark Hall Elder, Formulate a plan for this matter and report to me afterwards. Yes, Sir Clan Leader. Dark Hall Elder immediately nodded. 
As for Gu Yu Fang Zheng, I'm afraid his heart might be damaged from such an encounter. He is an A-grade talent, and to our clan, the status is monumental. From now on, I will teach him personally. Gu Yu Bo said. No clan elders objected. Many people knew that the clan leader had already given much benefits to Gu Yu Fang Zheng in the dark. Now that he mentioned this, even though it violated the fairness rule, with sufficient reasoning, the clan elders could not stop him. As for Gu Yu Fang Yuan, Gu Yu Bo dragged his words. At once, all the clan elders paid their fullest attention. Was the clan leader hinting that he was the one helping Fang Yuan secretly? Gu Yu Bo looked at everyone's expression as his gaze swept through, but he was destined to be disappointed. Thus, he could only continue, with his C-grade talent, he managed to get first place. It is not easy. Thus, in my personal name, I reward him thirty primeval stones. Academy Elder, pass my word and tell him to continue working hard. Yes, Clan Leader. The Academy Elder bowed as he received his orders. Thirty primeval stones, such an ordinary reward, what does this mean? The clan elders frowned. No matter who absorbed Fang Yuan, this thirty primeval stones is my expression of goodwill. After all, there is still the Bai and Xiong clan other than Gu Yu. Gu Yu Bo sighed in his heart. Fang Zheng was assassinated by external foes. Fang Yuan's cheating was internal conflict. Against external foes, one had to use hard-handed methods to retaliate, but for internal conflict, Guyu Bo chose to use the soft approach, in order to avoid too much internal conflict and result in the entire clan strength being weakened. All right, this matter will be settled like this. Everyone may leave and do all your work well, the clan's prosperity has everything to do with your performances. Guyu Bo waved his hand. Yes clan leader, we will take our leave. The clan elders left one by one, and after a few breaths' time, only Gu Yu Bo was left in the room. He sighed deeply, using his fingers to rub his two temples. As the clan leader, even if he was the person with the most authority in the Gu Yu clan, it did not mean that he had it easy. He needed to coordinate the interests of the different factions, and could not do as he wished. The clan's forces were dispersed and intertwined through many generations of inheritance, and they all had long history, restricting one another. Against outside forces, he had to deal with the arrogant and rude Xiong clan village and the gradually rising by clan village. Internally, he had to resolve the complicated political conflict in the clan. Although he was middle-aged, he already had white hair all over. These years of being the clan leader, although I had sufficient resources, my cultivation has barely advanced. My heart is tired from all these tiresome clan affairs. Sometimes, I really want to be a lone cultivator, free and easy with no burden. That would allow me to move faster and I might travel even further in my cultivation path. Guyu Bo sighed in his heart. As long as one is in the clan system, they had responsibilities on them. Once they had responsibilities it would not be easy to wholeheartedly cultivate. But on the reverse, if one is not in the system, the clan's resources would not be available to them, and without resources, their cultivation would come to a halt. This formed a contradiction, a weird loop. Because of this loop, many people's futures were ruined, burying an insurmountable number of talents and geniuses. Wang De is dead. Three days later, Fang Yuan got the news. At the same time, he also heard from Jiang He that the two young hunters vanished when hunting in the mountains. As for the hunter whose right hand was broken by Fang Yuan, he committed suicide in his home out of depression. Jiang He looked at Fang Yuan meaningfully when he said the news. He had seen Wang Da's corpse, thus recognizing him. But he did not dare to say Wang Da's true identity. He was the station Gu master, and held responsibility. 
As long as one is in the system, regardless of position, they had responsibility. Wangda became a demonic faction cultivator for three years, and Jiang He as the village Gu master did not investigate. If they really pursued responsibility, this would become the biggest flaw in his records, and his future in the clan would be ruined. The three hunters' peculiar deaths were covered up by him. Fang Yuan, since we're acquaintances, from now on you get a 50% discount when you purchase things from my cousin brother Jiang Ye's shop. During one time, Jiang He said this to Fang Yuan. Everyone else was dead, only Fang Yuan and him knew of this matter. But if the matter was revealed, it did not have a huge impact on Fang Yuan. He only killed three village servants, and even if he killed thirty, the clan would not pursue it, at most he would pay tens of primeval stones as a punishment. Jiang He's bribery, Fang Yuan took it with ease. To him, this matter was full of surprise and danger, but the result was good. After this matter, Fang Yuan who had no foundation within the clan, received half an ally and also a non-existent faction supporting him. This mysterious backer became Fang Yuan's second safety net. When he started showing his strength gradually, this safety net would have a crucial impact, at least able to allow him to cultivate until rank 2 without much opposition. At this point, he could feel clearly the academy elders' changing attitude towards him, into a more amicable one. Over ten days passed in a flash. After Gu Yu Fang Zheng and Emma Obei advanced, Fang Yuan and Qi Cheng almost simultaneously advanced to rank one upper stage successfully. Although extortion continued, he no longer took Fang Zheng, Emma Obei, and Qi Cheng's primeval stones, and he started becoming more low key, while his strength grew rapidly at a speed multiple times of his previous life. Chapter 79 Breakthrough to the Sixth Gu in the Inheritance Ground Time was like a white steed that flitted past a crack, and summer left with the arrival of autumn. In the Walden Path, Fang Yuan stood once more before the giant boulder blocking the way. Due to the weather growing colder, he wore plain and simple garment with long sleeves. But his body figure was no longer the thin sort like how it was a few months ago. His chest, two arms and legs, and abdomen all showed obvious muscle. These muscles were not as protruding as a stone, but it showed as a type of streamline, matching up with Fang Yuan's slowly growing body. Matched as well with his white skin, this gave others a type of youthful, full of vitality feeling. Starting from three days ago, the white boar goo stopped supplying me any increase in strength. That means, I already have one boar's strength, thus reaching the flower wine monk's requirement. Today, I shall try pushing this round rock again. Fang Yuan's eyes shone as he took a step forward with his right leg, his left leg at the back, forming a bow step. His arms touched the surface of the round rock as he took a deep breath in and pushed with all his strength. The large boulder moved under the pressure of both his arms, moving slowly, gradually gaining momentum and rolling forward. The road before the boulder blocking the path was an inclined slope. Being turned into a round rock by the flower wine monk, it was most suitable for rolling. This must have been his intention, to allow the inheritor to push the boulder upwards and move it away. 10 steps, 20 steps, 30 steps. Fang Yuan slowly progressed, counting in his heart, last week, I pushed it to 45 steps and that was the limit of my stamina, forcing me to quit. This time, I wonder how far I can push it. 40 steps, 45 steps. A while later, Fang Yuan broke his original record, but that was enough for him to feel unbearably tired. 46 steps, 47 steps. Fang Yuan could feel strongly, at this point his stamina was almost all gone. 48, 49 steps. He mustered all his strength and moved another two steps. Finally, he was at his limit, sweating profusely. Using his shoulder and leg to anchor the rock in place, he took a few deep breaths. 
Should I give up? Fan Yuan could not help but have such thoughts. This inclined slope, when returning he has to expend quite a bit of stamina as well. After all, the rock has to roll down and he had to slowly release it in the process. If he let go and ran, the rock would roll faster and faster. Fang Yuan did not want to get turned into a pile of flesh after being unable to avoid it. But thinking for a while, Fang Yuan felt indignant. Let's push it a few more steps. Fiftieth Step He suddenly felt that the pressure from the huge rock had lightened. It had actually rolled into a straight platform. Fang Yuan pushed for a few more steps. After routing past the huge rock he found himself in a secret room. This secret room was like the rock crack secret cave. He temporarily named it the second secret room. There was nothing in the room. The four walls were a strange red soil, glowing red. On the other end of the secret room, there was a simple grey-coloured rock door. It should be the hurried product of the flower wine monk. Fang Yuan rested for a while but did not immediately open the rock door, as he had a new discovery. He found that the ground before the rock door was slightly damp. Don't tell me. Fang Yuan had a thought. He bent down, stretching out both arms and loosening the soil. The Second Earth Treasury Flower Fang Yuan laughed heartily, carefully peeling the flower petals and retrieving the goo worms slumbering in the golden nectar. Once he deployed his primeval essence, it was instantly refined. This was a jade skin goo. Its appearance was like the bed bug, flat and wide with a small head and its green body was oval in space, emitting a faint jade-colored glow. I obtained the white boar goo, and was still thinking where could I get a jade skin goo so I could refine it into the white jade goo. To think that the flower wine monk already prepared it for me, Fang Yuan contemplated, thinking about the significance of this jade skin goo. This is Fang Yuan's sixth goo worm. Although he had five already, none were defensive. Now that he had the jade skin goo, he could cover up his weakness in defense. At times, defense means offense. This was not hard to understand. Taking for example Fang Yuan's body. Using the white boar goo, his strength grew to one boar's strength. Theoretically, with this strength, he could smash a rock in one punch, but Fang Yuan never did such a thing. Because he knew his defense was not sufficient, so with one punch, the rock would break, but his fists would also turn bloody from the damage. Now that he had the jade skin goo, he could supplement the advantage he had in strength, obviously, there were advantages and disadvantages. The jade skin goo had a high value, being one of the best defensive rank 1 goo. It was not easy to feed, consuming two pieces of jade rock every ten days. Jade rock's market price was expensive, and the source was often the problem. Fang Zheng also has a jade skin goo, but he has the clan leader's backing, providing him with jade rocks. If Fang Yuan wanted jade rocks, he would have to buy them, and that could easily expose him. Originally in feeding the white boar goo, I had to regularly kill wild boars, and that is already troublesome. With the addition of this jade skin goo, do I have to go dig in mines? Fang Yuan laughed bitterly, seeing a new problem in front of him. Keeping the jade skin goo, temporarily nurturing it in his aperture, Fang Yuan gradually opened the rock door. The rock door was heavy, and if Fang Yuan did not have the white boar goo's boost in strength, he would not be able to move it. But now, with Fang Yuan pushing it, the door slowly opened. The scene that was revealed to Fang Yuan caused his field of vision to expand all of a sudden. It was no longer a narrow tunnel or a secret room, but a large spacious plot of underground stone forest. Fang Yuan estimated at initial approximation, the stone forest size was over 30 mu, 1. On earth, a standard football field was only 11 mu. I should be inside Qin Mao Mountain now, this underground space should be naturally formed. 
Fang Yuan looked up at the stone walls. The stone walls in this space were over 16 meters tall, and the ceiling was also made of stone. From the top, there were large dark red pillars erected. Each emitted a faint red glow, and so did the walls, just like the tunnel and secret room. The light although dim, allowed Fang Yuan to see some things at least. Fang Yuan looked far, and each stone pillar was like an upside-down tree, except without branches, and only leaving the stem. The stone pillar's surface was not smooth, and was full of dark eerie holes. Numerous pillars drooped down, forming an inverted stone forest within the mountain. Nature had its way with things. Fang Yuan with his immense knowledge, was not shocked, but stared at the dark holes in the pillars, frowning more intensely. He had suddenly understood the flower wine monk's intention in placing the jade skin goo. If I am not wrong. Fang Yuan turned his right hand, and out came a moonblade. The eerie blue moonblade flew through the sky in an arc, precisely hitting a dark hole in the stone pillar. A shrill and angry sound came from the dark hole. With a swoosh, a gray monkey flew out from the cave and leapt towards Fang Yuan. Pow pow pow. Fang Yuan shot three moon blades. The monkey was in midair and could not adjust its position, but its tail was extremely agile, sweeping several times and causing its body to flip in midair. After avoiding two moon blades, it was finally hit by the third, plopping on the floor dead. It was dead, without a drop of blood. Only its grey body turned to stone, and in a second, its flesh and blood body became a stone monkey statue. The statue's posture and facial expression was just like the monkey right before it died, imitated to perfection. After two breaths time, the stone monkey's surface cracked, and cracks developed all over its body. Finally with a boom, its entire figure blew up into tiny rock fragments. It really is an underground colony of jade eye stone monkeys. Fang Yuan knelt down, sweeping the fragments aside and taking out two jade green yellow pearls. These two pearls were the jade eye stone monkey's eyes. This strange animal would turn into grey rock fragments once dead, and only its eyes would turn into two jade green spherical pearls. Each were very heavy, reaching at least 50 grams. This meant that as long as he killed jade eye stone monkeys, the jade skin goo's food problem would be resolved. I not only have to feed the jade skin goo, I also have to continue the inheritance. Flower wine monk's next clue should be hidden in this stone forest. Fang Yuan frowned. Things have become complicated. He tried taking a few steps forward, his eyes peeled to the stone pillar. On his seventh step, on the pillar closest to him, numerous jade-colored glowing eyes could be seen peeking out of the stone holes. At once, a drop of sweat fell from Fang Yuan's forehead. He quickly took a step back, and the numerous eyeballs in the dark holes faded. Evidently, each pair of eyeballs meant a jade-eye stone monkey. The jade eye stone monkey was terribly agile, and to kill one Fang Yuan had to use for moon blades. On a stone pillar, there were at least a hundred jade eye stone monkeys, and in the entire forest, who knew how many were there in total. With Fang Yuan's current strength, he would die from being attacked by four monkeys. If he included the jade skin goose defense, Fang Yuan could deal with twelve monkeys at once at most. Thankfully, these monkeys usually slept in their dark holes and ate rocks when they were hungry or thirsty. The stone pillar was their home and food. Unless he got within ten meters of them or provoked them purposely, they would not come out. Using Earth's words, they were a bunch of meat slash hikikomori monkeys. Chapter 80 A Surge in Battle Strength The autumn wind rustled through the air, while the red leaves drifted aimlessly. The wild grass was dried yellow, and brilliant red or orange-yellow wild fruit hung from the tree branches. Harumph! 
A black-colored wild boar rushed madly with its forehooves on the ground, its mane pricking up. There was a thick layer of fallen leaves that accumulated on the surface of the mountain. As the wild boar rushed forward, a gust of wind was wedged between it, and the fallen leaves were sent dancing behind its body. Fang Yuan silently stood there, showing a cold calculating expression as the wild boar got closer. Kill! He took a huge stride forward, and then both his legs stood firm, not dodging at all, facing the wild boar head on. The wild boar's two snow white tusks tore through the air with overwhelming killing intent. Fang Yuan turned his body to avoid the tusks, his shoulder knocking onto the wild boar's skull. When they were about to collide, Fang Yuan's shoulder shone with a faint green-colored light. Jade Skin Goo Boom! With a loud crash, the two collided. Fang Yuan took three steps back, while the wild boar took one step back. To be fair, when comparing both sides' strength, Fang Yuan was stronger. But Fang Yuan ran with both legs while the wild boar used four to sustain its force, and at the same time the center of gravity of the wild boar was lower and more stable than Fang Yuan. However, after being harshly hit on the head by Fang Yuan, although the wild boar was still standing, its fat body was already wavering. With a roar, Fang Yuan rushed up again, his left hand grabbing the wild boar's tusk, his right hand raising high in the air, the light green color jade glow forming a thin layer of protection covering his fist. Bam! His fist crashed strongly downwards and the wild boar screamed in pain, struggling intensely. Fang Yuan's muscles on his left arm tensed, and the green veins popped like centipedes encircling his arm as he restrained the wild boar with all his strength. At the same time, his right fist continued to raise and slam down on the boar. Bam bam bam. Every time his fist hit the wild boar's head, the green-colored glow on his fist would shine once. The wild boar was smashed into oblivion by the fist, and its struggle became weaker. Last strike. Fang Yuan's eyes glowed like lightning. He loosened his upper body, his right arm stretching straight and raised to the highest point, before smashing down at full force. The green-colored jade light stuck to Fang Yuan's right arm and following his movement, drew a green arc in the air. Bam! Fang Yuan knelt on the ground on one knee, his elbow harshly whacking the wild boar's skull. Even before the wild boar could cry out, its noise came to a stop. An entire pig head turned deformed, the broken white skull pierced through the black skin, exposing outside. Fresh blood and brain matter slowly flowed out, and in the layers of leaf litter, it infected an area of bright redness. The autumn wind blew. Leaves flew about as the scent of the pig blood emanated. Life is splendid just like the flowers of summer. Death is as delicate as the leaves of autumn. Fang Yuan muttered, appreciating this frame of scenery. The survivor lives brilliantly while the dead is lonely and pitiful. Dead or alive, filled with intense difference, it reflected nature's cruelness and the excitement of life. No matter the world, the victor always gets all the fame, while the loser suffers defeat in the unrelentless world. Victory and loss, to me means life and death. Because I walk on the demonic path, once I lose, it means death awaits. Fan Yuan got close to the corpse and sat on the ground, taking out the white boar goo, letting it consume the meat while his consciousness entered the aperture in his body. Within the aperture, the black-green-colored primeval sea's tides turned and crashed, ebbed and flowed. When the primeval sea is full, it occupied 44% of the space. After an intense battle, Fang Yuan used the jade skin goo multiple times to raise his defense, and some primeval essence was expended, thus there was only 36% primeval essence left. Counting the amount, he only used 8%, not even 10% of his total. 
but because this was the rank 1 peak stage black green primeval essence, the expenditure was considered large. Rank 1 initial stage is jade green primeval essence. Rank 1 middle stage is pale green primeval essence. Rank 1 upper stage is dark green primeval essence. Rank 1 peak stage is black green primeval essence. The essence was in concentration, the relative amount of a particular substance contained within a solution or mixture or in a particular volume of space. The Moonlight Goose activation required 10% of jade green primeval essence, and in terms of pale green primeval essence, it was 5%. For dark green primeval essence, it further halved, and the same went for black green primeval essence. That is to say, 10% of black green primeval essence was equivalent to 20% dark green, 40% pale green and 80% jade green primeval essence. Using the jade skin goo cost 8% black green primeval essence, if converted to initial stage jade green primeval essence, it would be 64%. If Fang Yuan was still at initial stage, his aperture would only have 44% primeval essence, and halfway through using the goo, his primeval essence would be completely expended. The higher the goo master's cultivation, the stronger their battle strength, and this shows in the primeval essence. The higher the stage, the darker the color of the primeval essence, and the more durable it is. My black green primeval essence was on the basis of upper stage primeval essence, refined by the liquor worm. It is unlike Fang Zheng, who is already rank 1 peak stage cultivation already. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan's gaze shone. Time flies, it is already late autumn. Two months had passed since Wang Da's attempted assassination. Fang Zheng was poisoned and was in comatose for seven days and seven nights. Once he woke up he was like a changed man, very hardworking and also cultivated extremely dutifully, some people say, difficulties in life was wealth just like gold. Regardless of whether this saying is correct, Fang Zheng did emerge from this difficulty changed and obtained much experience. He was like a raw jade, and after some polishing, he finally showed the beautiful jade quality inside. He was the first to advance to upper stage, and not long ago, he was the first to advance to peak stage, leaving his classmates in the dust. The advantages of an A-grade talent has finally started showing. I am not far from peak stage either, at most half a month. In fact, I have been nurturing my aperture non-stop every day, but a C-grade talent really cannot compete with A and B grades, and I also have another reason. Fang Yuan laughed bitterly without sound as he thought of it. Once in a few days, he would have to kill jade eye stone monkeys to feed the jade skin goo. At the same time, he had to search inside the stone forest to find the next clue of the flower wine monk's inheritance. The stone forest was complicated with pillars of huge rocks drooping from the ceiling. If Fang Yuan was not careful and got too close to any pillar, he would trigger the attack of all the stone monkeys. A few times, he was chased by tens of stone monkeys and had to escape. The most dangerous time, when retreating he stepped into another pillar's territory, and ended up having up to a hundred monkeys chasing after him. Luckily, these monkeys were sedentary, and every time they chased after him, they would not chase too far. After a distance, they would go back to their homes and continue being sedentary. Even so, Fang Yuan walked on the brink of death several times. During crucial times, the Jade Skin Goo's defense came into good use. Such investigation and exploration caused Fang Yuan to devote much time and effort, and thus became the key reason why his cultivation was advancing so slowly. Even so, this is way better than my previous life. The Stone Forest exploration is not without results either. At least I already know that the walls around the forest have no problems. That means that the next clue of the strength inheritance should be somewhere in the forest. Fang Yuan continued thinking, but suddenly a shadow stepped over the dried branches and got close. 
this is a wandering old wolf. It had a brown fur coat, limping and had one eye was damaged. Only the danger and alertness of its left eye remained. It stared at Fang Yuan tightly, its nose twitching. Wolves and dogs were the same, using their keen sense of smell, it must have been attracted by the pig blood. Wolves were often in packs, but there were also lone wolves like this. There were competition in wolf packs as well, and to maintain the atmosphere in the pack, they would sometimes get rid of those crippled old wolves. Fang Yuan quickly stood up and silently looked at this old wolf. Back then when he killed a wild boar, there would be little primeval essence left in his body and that caused his fighting strength to greatly reduce. Thus when he encountered other wild beasts, he would choose to avoid them. But these few months, his battle strength had increased tremendously, and with the jade skin goo, against a crippled wolf, it was more than enough. The unrestrained mountain trees were everywhere with their red leaves. The setting sun illuminated the dark hour. A person and a wolf distanced fifty steps away, silently observed each other. In the wolf's eye, green light shone as it showed a cruel and cunning expression. Fang Yuan's eyes however, were dark and eerie, his black iris emanating chilling intent. The white boar goo came out. It was full and returned to Fang Yuan's aperture satisfied. The old wolf looked at the wild boar, it had only bones and skin left, the meat was all eaten by the white boar goo. The wolf's eyes shone with green light and contracted. It first took a few steps back, then jumped into the bushes. This wolf was still alive till today, it definitely had some intelligence. It keenly felt Fang Yuan's danger, and decided to retreat. Its entry and exit were both fast and abrupt. Without the wild boar's crashing sound, and without the tiger's growling. Against Fang Yuan, without a sound, the battle had started and ended. The main theme of life and death, such excitement born from great nature. Fang Yuan stood on the spot, and did not give chase. This wolf did not have anything worth Fang Yuan's attack. A I I E E. But the next moment, the old wolf's crying was heard. The wolf's howling suddenly erupted and ended suddenly. Even so, there was a thick surge of death aura overflowing. Crack crack. In the bush, there were sounds of twigs being stepped on. The sound was fearless and got closer, causing Fang Yuan's iris to shrink. Able to get rid of that sneaky old wolf in a second. His gaze became more and more chilly, 